Wow, every single strong box here contains skeletons. Oh man, nothing interesting. Oh wait, there are a simple sexton at least. Too much Come present. on. Three strong boxes. All crop loot, please. <sighs> Had a very good laugh with the signet of PETA in the patch that video. I, you know, I didn't even really think anything of that, but a lot of people mentioned that they like spit out their drink or something when I talked about the signet of PETA. I'm glad it was a hit. Hits with this weapon gain 89% of physical damage as cold or lightning. Trigger lightning warp on hit with this weapon. Oh my god, every time you swing it, you just teleport around? That would be dizzying. Hello? Be PETA equals people eating these. Yeah. No, so, okay, I, I was talking about in, um, okay. Guild Wars 2 just did a patch where they took, a, they, they changed the way this debuff work called resistance. And resistance makes it so any, uh, any conditions, any debuffs on you, they, they it used to be you ignore them. Like, if they do damage, then they don't do damage while you have resistance. If you're rooted to the ground, you're not rooted while you have resistance. Uh, now, it only prevents the stuff that would impair you, but it does not re prevent damage. The problem is, there were some moves that were very reliant on it. Uh, for example, I had a move called Signet of Renewal that would take up the 13 conditions on me and move them to my pet, and then my pet would gain resistance and just shrug them off. They forgot about that skill. So now it just moves 13 conditions to my pet, gains resistance, resistance doesn't stop damage, the pet looks at me with a single tear in its eye, and then just explodes, just ARGH! And then just puff of fur. Like, I ba it's basically, it's a kill your pet button. And I was like, dude, you guys just made Signet of PETA. Like, come on, think this through. And then apparently when I said that, a lot of people just like lost it. it I, I didn't really, I didn't really uh, think about it. But it, it was, uh, it, it was well received. You want to hang out behind the machine when you want it to slow down. You need to get more time to kill stuff. Placement of the flare I just used. Oh, and if I didn't say it, I'm gonna draw the winner uh, for the the winners for the giveaway in like 20 minutes. So y'all have that long to type in the command. If any of you are for some reason really slow at typing. <laughs> Uh, what do we kill after we've killed all the dragons who just take a nap? Well, then we can get back to fighting each other. The Char and the humans can go back to their racist wars, and, uh, the, the Asura can go back to fighting, uh, the Skrit. I, I don't, I don't know. You can't get Garden Deeds as gifts. I'm sorry. Yeah, if you want, uh, something gifted to you in Guild Wars 2, make sure it has the gift button. Not, like, for example, I know that I can't gift you Living World Season 2. It, it just doesn't let, let me do that. Oh, there's another city thing down there. I 
need to scoot down. I'm sitting like a scampy. When do you think EOD will release? Well, they... they I am... I don't want to know if I would say I, I'm a pessimist, but I, I often give them the... When, when someone says, oh, I'll do that this week, I just assume, okay, they're going to do it in 6.9 days. You know, I, I, I assume if someone doesn't give me a firm date for something, they want the longest possible time frame without sounding bad. And so with EOD, they said 2021, so I'm assuming December 31st. I'm assuming December 31st, 2021. Uh, they also said, though, you know, they, they recently had to postpone the Steam release, which was supposed to be last November, and then it didn't happen. So, we'll, you know, we'll, they, they, they always have the option of just postponing if they need to. Is this solo leveling simulator? Oh, crazy. I, lo I love that, uh, that manga. Uh, I heard it's getting a show, and that, I will definitely put that in my eye holes if, uh, if it does get one. I'm reading that one. Is it? I was told that by someone on stream. I don't have any, like, source for that other than someone here told me. But that's what someone said. It's getting a live action? Dude. There are some really gory moments, with, like people getting ripped limb from limb in solo leveling. If it goes into live action, I, I wonder like how far they're gonna go. Welcome to our show based on a comic book, rated R. I'm reminded of Spawn. All right, there were, I know a lot of people who thought it was cheesy. I enjoyed the Spawn movie back when that came out. With its old CGI, the Spawn movie made me like, like that was great. Ow, I got hit. Okay. Oh, we're almost down. We're almost down with the sulfite. So much sulfite. Almost drained it. Blade movies were also good. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was a few cheesy lines, but yeah, they were they were good for their time. Archdemon named Violet looked like a fat cloud. Yeah, he was like one of the main an antagonists in most of the Spawn comics and stuff. Can we help you out with your build, Back City? Would you rather not? Uh, Chop, I, I, I welcome tips. For example, I'm using Impale right now, which I never would have thought of, but someone suggested it to me and it's working out. Uh, Dread Banner was also something the chat pitched in. I want to look at, hold on, how's my inventory? I want to see what's there, and then I'll probably come back and do that currency line.
Got the Azurite. Whoa! city area that I wanted to go through. Full on flares. Alright, got that. Some chaos orbs. Mark, you're playing SSF? Uh, yes, I'm on SSF. Everything I got, I found myself. I, okay. I know that's kind of like a handicap, but I really don't like dealing with trading in this game. I find it to be a chore. So, rather than be in Trade League and have people constantly ask me, like, oh, well, why don't you just trade for better gear, you know? Just spend an hour and you, you, you'll get a massive power-up, which is absolutely true. I would rather just be like, okay, I, I just can't do this, and then I don't have to explain that all the time. So I, I, I typically avoid Trade League just because it's a massive chore to do trading to me. Go to a website, find the item, message the person, no response. Find the second best item, message the person. They're in a map, please wait five minutes. Wait five minutes standing there. we we'll go to their home instance, do the trade. Hopefully they got the right item and then you know, you're, you're one item improved. And it's just like, yeah. If they improved the trading experience somehow, maybe I would do it more. But right now it's just, it's a, it's just a bother. All right, let's go back and do that currency one. Uh, I understand SF is a fun challenge to do the game earlier than the trade league. I, I will say I have uh, kind of forced myself to learn a lot more like vendor recipes and stuff in SSF. Because it's like, okay, I want this. I can't get it by trading. Let's look at, you know, let's go to the, the wiki and look at all the ways I can get this. Oh, I could go to this place and farm parts and get that. Or I can trade this stuff to a merchant and I have a chance to get it. So I could just do that trade over and over. You know, things like that. It's kind of cool. Like, it's like, okay, I want to get the Baron helmet. So I'll check, set my loot filter to get, uh, notify me whenever a closed helmet drops. And then over chance all of them. And eventually I should get it. You know, stuff like that. It's pretty cool to discover that stuff. Don't forget them dynamite. Uh, I've got two dynamite right now, one flare. I do need to stock up. Quicksand, though. Alright, are we out of sulfite yet? Almost. And how are we doing on time? Eight minutes until I draw the winners. Make sure you've typed in the command, uh, otherwise you don't have a chance.
What's the command? Uh, exclamation... Was it Thursday? Exclamation Thursday. Like Boxster Duke just did. The, uh, the, the command that's exclamation giveaway just has the details of the giveaway for, for... Because people, people type in that or ask me about the giveaway like throughout entire screen, so that one just sits there and has information. These boys have sponsors, or you're just emptying your pockets. Uh, you guys watching and subbing and bits, uh, you, you guys basically pay me, and I turn around and I reinvest some of that into the giveaways because, uh, yeah, let, let, let's, let's be completely honest here. There are people that join the stream for the first time because they see free stuff. It's basically advertising budget. So it's, it's out of my pocket. But it came from you guys in the first place, and I just reinvest some of it into essentially advertising. And then some people will come in. What I'm banking on is like, for every time I do a giveaway, you know, for every 10 people that come in just because they want free stuff, one person will be like, oh, this is a pretty nice stream, maybe I'll be back. So, you know, I, I, I've been doing it that way for years. You are using us? I'm giving you free things. Of course I'm using <laughs> Free stuff is always using you. No, there'll be people that pop in, they win something, and then they never come back. And it's like, well, okay, I accept that risk. Okay. We finally got this emptied out. Uh, wrong waypoint. Let's go to, go to town for a sec. I came with a co-raid and I kept coming back because uh, quality family friendly stream, but also hot tub potato. Oh, baby. Dude, that co-stream, uh, that, so, okay, for those, for those of you who weren't here that day, a really short story. So, the most viewers I had ever had, up until the moment I'm about to describe, was I had, there was a day where I had like seven or 800 viewers and it was a giveaway day. It was, uh, I, I was uh, doing a 12 hour stream. We were celebrating to like two years on Twitch and I had to give away every one hour. So there was tons of people there. That was the most I'd ever had. My average was around 200. That was my average viewership. It was, and then on the day we were celebrating um, 1,000 days streamed in a row without missing a single day, uh, Co Carnage raided me. And he brought in 13,000 people. <laughs> so I had like 500 people, and then I went to 13,500 people. And I was just like, Mug, look, Douglas, Barth, all of you, Reginald, the boy. <laughs> I was like, holy crap. Like, oh boy, we gotta put on a show. We have gotta put on a show. Like, that was wild. I, I sent him many thank yous. Uh, that's level 17. That's level 17. All right, I think I think I want to wait till those level up a bit more before I swap them out. There's a clip of that. Oh, there's quite a few clips of it. Uh, that raised how I found you. I was gonna ask a question mid time. I answered a question. Nice. Suddenly they get on stage in front of your high school. Really. Yeah. Did the giveaway happen? No, it's about to. Just a few more minutes. Just a few more minutes. It's not about ever feel. No, it wasn't. Well, I, honestly, what really flattered me is, think about when you're watching a streamer you like and they, they raid someone else. I'd say nine people out of ten don't stick around for more than a few more minutes. And that's totally fine, you know? It's like, oh, you know, the, a different show just came on. This isn't what I was here for. So I was really ecstatic that I was able to keep like three to eight thousand of their attention for the next like eight hours. Like that, that to me was just like, yes, I did okay. I did okay. Uh, what do I need? Glenock Cairns. One more Glenock Cairns, and then I'll get the next marble. Uh, wait. Shoot, do I not have a Glenock Cairns that is the... Hmm. 
I might not have one that is Crusader influenced. Might not have one that's Crusader influenced. I could do this one just because I don't I haven't done it yet ever. Alright, let's just do this one to uh up our atlas. Oh, a new arrival. Welcome new arrival. Hello! Alright, so this is just gonna be Einhar plus uh uh checking off on the Atlas, so that's gonna be it. Oh, there you go. Season dug it up. Watchbuck fangirl super hard. Dude, it's true. It's true. Like uh, for the for the type of streamer I'm uh, I am, Co Carnage is like the largest example on Twitch that what I'm trying to do can work. Like I don't have to worry that this is the, the like me being uh, the type of streamer I am is a, is a dumb idea or a not marketable idea because he's proof that it can function. So it, yeah, I I, uh, I I I look up to him, and that he was able to accomplish what I'm trying to do, and I'm trying to get there. What was that drop sound? Orb of chance, there it was. There's a trial, but I don't need to worry about it. I don't ever have to do the trials again. The solo self out. I can't sell the offerings. I've got all the trials done. I don't ever need to do them again. It's time. It is. Yep. All right. So let's just say last call. Last call. You got one minute. You got one minute to type exclamation Thursday if you want a chance to win a little bit of my money. I, I died last night in the last room of Uber Lab of Sad Time. I I have done that before. I am sorry that happened to you. I have definitely been there. You just be minding your business, killing people, which those sentences don't go together, and then pop! And you're like, oh no, I have to do this all again. I'm ready for when I don't win. I am also ready for when you don't win, Kemzam. Oh wait. Oh, the spirit just went into the essence guy. Okay. It's a tormented essence beast mob for Einhar. That's a lot of leagues all at once. Oh my god, what are these? Freaking Windigos? What am I looking at here? Welcome to Arrival. Hello. All right, let's do it. I'll finish this map after the giveaway. Uh, da, 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 da. Hold on. We're gonna need some some mood music. Where's the giveaway music? Too much mood. Turn that down a little bit. All right, chat. I am gonna draw two names. If you win and you would like something from the Guild Wars 2 gem store. I need to know your Guild Wars 2 in-game name and the item you want, okay? Or items, as long as they add up to 800 or less. If you want Steam money, this is what you would have to do. Go to your name, go to friends, go to add a friend, and at the top is your friend code. I need your friend code, and you have to give me three days because Steam says we have to be friends for three days to send you money. That's their rule, not my rule. So here we go. So tell me if you want Steam money with your friend code or if you want Guild Wars 2 something with your in-game name and the something you want. Here we are. mux has got Alpha Black Lotus in his set. No, I do not. The most expensive card we've found so far was a mint condition uh, Gaia's Cradle, which is like $900, which is awesome. But it is not an Alpha Black Lotus, which is worth 
Like $200,000. Yeah, I do not have a card worth a house. All right. Here we go. Thank you for being here. Y'all are wonderful. Pick the first winner. Is... What is that noise? Is Zilman here? Boom Sledge would like to voice chat? No. Boom. What? What in the hell? Steam has this option? Get the, get the hell out of here. No, Boom. You're banned. Banned for life. Get out of my voice chat. I am. One second. I'm dying in Drakkar. You're in Drakkar? In that's your problem. I found why why you're dying. I had no idea, dude. I I learned in this minute that Steam had a voice chat feature. I had no idea. I had no idea. Oh, we still got that Einhar aura. Dude, Einhar has got the good stuff. Life regen, life leech, and life on kill. Just all the life. Everyone start calling Muck on Steam. D Doctor. Do you really want to be banned from all future giveaways? Because you're heading there at a rapid rate. Uh, Regilior.3152. What do you want? Okay, there we go. Two Lost Era mount licenses. Great. I was about to... I was like, what do you want? It's, it's not that simple. What do you want? All right. If you, if you know the reference, you know the reference. All right, there we go. There's one. Uh, I didn't mean to show you all that, but there's nothing personal there. Okay, and hang on a sec. Let me get the capture back. There we go. The next winner, if you're paying attention. Oh, Steel oh, of Iron, are you here? Steel of Iron, are you here? Oh, wow, yes. <laughs> all right. The Steel of Iron. So what do you want? What do you want, buddy? Steam, Steam or Guild Wars 2 stuff? Are you freaking... Is that Boom Sledge? Boom, I swear to God. How do, how do I unfriend someone? How do I unfriend someone? He's going, he's going nuts in my Steam. Steam would be best. Okay, I need your Steam friend code. I need your Steam friend code. Just unfriend me? Dude, he's in there just hitting call, call, call. Yeah, you should probably unfriend me, man. I clicked the mug like OnlyFans link and I was not disappointed. Nice. Thirst detected, chat. Thirst detected. Sent it via whispers. Uh. Got it. Okay, hang on. Nice. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. Great. All right, nice. All right, congrats to our two winners. That's what I have for the modest Thursday giveaway. The next giveaway, if you're just here for that, and you know, not for all the charm and the charisma, then the next giveaway is going to be on Tuesday. It'll be on Tuesday. It'll be Tuesday evening, Guild Wars 2 videos. Also on the YouTube channel, uh, the, the, the subs and the patrons can already see it, but there's a video announcing a massive, massive giveaway near the end of this month. We're celebrating being live for three years without missing a day. Uh, so 